Good evening and welcome to Five a Day with Jay. I'm your host, J.R. Murdoch. How are you this evening? Thank you so much for joining me. I'm so glad that you're here. Hey, if you're watching the video, I might be wearing that sometime very, very soon. Where did that come from? The missus took a journey to Florida over the past week. So I've been, oh, oh, no, oh, oh, I'm so glad she's home though. Um, she went to go visit family, her sister and her sister's two daughters and all of the grandkids all are in Florida at the moment. So they went to go, her and her sister-in-law, my wife and her younger sister went to go visit for a week, had a great time. They went to Bucky's and I've been known to wear a onesie or two. So they got me a, a Bucky's onesie. <laughs> Super excited to wear it. It's uh, hey, I'm goofy like that. What? You, whatever. It's it's gonna be fun. At any rate, it was quite an epic journey. Getting there was fine. Getting back, if you've been following the weather through the Midwest at all, a storm front blew through a couple of days ago. Blew through Texas, kind of moving at an angle, and. Tornado warnings, hail warnings, baseball size hail, softball size hail. It was a bad storm. I didn't think much of it until the missus and her sister were getting on the plane saying, oh, they just took us off the plane. We're not going to leave. Well, uh, sorry, what? And I looked at the weather and everything around Florida was clear. That storm that had been moving across the country was creeping up on South Carolina very quickly. They needed to fly to Charlotte. The plane eventually took off uh, an hour or so late. They got to Charlotte. The rain hadn't started yet, but it was their other flight was not leaving. The flights were not leaving because of the incoming storm. So they got stuck there for the evening. They had to get a hotel room, get up super early in the morning. So. All night I'm checking my phone, how are things going, what's happening, making sure everything's all right. The following morning they did eventually get on a plane at 6 in the morning, East Coast time. I got, you know, my phone buzzes, woke me up. Okay, good, they're on a plane, they're on their way. So I got up, did some work, went and picked them up from the airport, came back, had some lunch, finished work, just wiped out, took a nap feel better for the nap the missus has already crashed out <laughs> it's she's exhausted from the trip but hey everything went well so they had a they had a wonderful time there i got my bucky's onesie uh, i also got some bucky's fudge and some bucky's little sweet corn treats i forget what they're called right now but uh, oh 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 some amazing amazing treats from bucky's uh, we'll be going sometime in August. We'll be going there. It's going to be a fun trip. At any rate, that's not what I intended to talk about this evening, but that's what's on top of my mind. What I intended to talk about was the fact that promotion. As you know, yesterday we released book two of the Giant Robot Planetary Competition series. I did so with... I notified everybody, sent it out to the newsletter, sent it out to the blog, sent it out to Facebook. I did all my social media duties when it comes to promoting the book. This is the second book in the series. We've got VNA Shipping, books one and two. Now we've got GRPC, books one and two. Now we're going to have Almost Superheroes one and two coming out later this summer. We'll have two books in each of the series. We're going to have six books very quickly. And then we get into VNA Shipping Book 3 and then Giant Robot Planetary Competition Book 3. I'm excited. I'm excited for these books to come rolling out. It's it's happening. The gears are moving. The short stories, first nine are scheduled. We're good there. I can't wait to get the next set of short stories scheduled and ready to go. But again, promotion. What am I doing for promotion? At the moment, as I mentioned, I'm not doing anything for promotion. Yes, I know I probably should, but right now, I want to get content out there. I want to get content 
flooded out, ready to go, and then I can start the marketing machine. But until I can get a steady stream of books flowing, I'm not comfortable with doing Amazon ads or Facebook ads and targeting those ads. That's a whole level of research that I need to perform. I need to study up on how do Amazon ads work, how do Facebook ads work, how do they work on targeting. And that whole platform is shifting at the moment. That makes things even more difficult to do I promote right now or not. There's a whole news item going on with people not sharing their data anymore, which I understand. I understand privacy. I get it. I'm perfectly fine with people maintaining their privacy. That will end up impacting many authors who they do a lot of advertising and a lot of targeted advertising. They want to make sure they're just not doing a shotgun blast that's going to hit, you know, going to miss the target. They want to make sure they're shooting at the target only, hit the target, and get their ads to the people who should be seeing it, which would be people that are buying that type of book or buying books at all. There's a lot of people I follow on Facebook that I'm friends with, that I follow on social media, that aren't readers. I know some authors who aren't readers. That boggles my mind. If you're an author, one of your top priorities should be do some reading and read some books. That said, I know a lot of people that don't read. Therefore, I am not pushing, 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 pushing my writing on all of my social media. My blog? Yes, absolutely. My author page? Yes, absolutely. I dropped a new book? Yes, I posted that on my main Facebook page. And a lot of people saw it, a lot of people liked it. As I mentioned, my expectation, first day is gonna come and go, zero sales. Absolutely my expectation, I'm not surprised. What I was surprised by was somebody poked into GRPC1, began reading it on Kindle Unlimited. I will talk tomorrow about Kindle Unlimited, going wide, going narrow, and all of that. We'll talk about that tomorrow. For now, suffice to say, yes, I'm in Kindle Unlimited with all my books for the time being. I want to see how things go as the series start to ramp up. Back to promotion. I'm not ready to, as I said, start a marketing machine to start pumping money into selling books. Not ready for that yet. I'm going to hold off on that for a little bit. Eventually we will get that machine going. But for now, I'm going to hold off. Slow, steady, easy. We'll get there. We'll get there. I'm tired, even though I took a nap. I'm still very exhausted. It's going to be a short one this evening. So those that have gone and checked out GRPC2, thank you. Or if you checked out any of my books, thank you. If you've gone to subscribe to the newsletter, thank you. I appreciate it. That's one of the things that I'm using my metrics more for is watching social media growth grow versus sales happen. I know the sales will lag behind absolutely everything. I know more people are following the journey. A lot of people are following the journey to see where it goes. I thank you for following the journey. I know it's going to take time to rebuild my platform and rebuild my image. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm doing the work. Doing the work. That's why we're doing this regularly. At any rate, it's time to go get some sleep. Get up and do this again tomorrow. This has been 5 a day with Jay. I've been Jay. You've been awesome. Until next time.